Hello, this is Mr. Beck, and in this tutorial we'll be building a 3D game. I am using Blender 2.6. This is designed for my 7th grade class. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the default cube. We're going to hit S and then Z, and I'm going to flatten it out. And then I'm going to hit S, and I'm going to pull it out. And I'm going to hit S and then Z again, and I'm going to flatten it down. The next step is to go Add, Mesh, and then UV Sphere. And I'm going to hit S and then the number 5, and that's going to scale it up by 5 times. And yours is probably going to be smaller than mine. Let me try that again. S5, Enter, and then I'm going to hit S5 again. And it's still a little small. So I'm going to move outside, and I'm going to hit S. And I'm just going to um, enlarge it a little bit like this. Okay, so the goal of this lesson is really simple to get this set up. We've got a playing surface that's a cube that's been flattened out. Now, in previous tutorials, I've told people to go add mesh plane. But what I've learned is that if you create a cube and you flatten it out, the collision detection is better, and objects are less likely to fall through that than they would be a plane. So we use a cube and we sort of flatten it out. Uh, it makes a better surface. And then the sphere on the outside is eventually going to become a sky dome. Take a look. Here's an example of what we're going to do in the next step. You'll take an image and we'll map it to uh, that sphere so that it looks like this playing surface is surrounded by some type of environment. Okay? So uh, in this particular tutorial, you just need to have this basic setup ready to go. And in the next tutorial, we'll talk about mapping an image to the sphere.